Okay, no clues what this uh, video is about. Um, first of all, it's not a paid endorsement. I've bought this myself. Um, however, if you do buy one or any products off our Amazon affiliate site, we will get a, a small commission. That's uh, full disclosure. But anyway, um, why did I buy it? So on my way to work every day, I stop at Starbucks, um, I get a four shot venti latte, a 20 ounce latte, and I, I get it in my takeaway cup normally, which I think saves you 25p if you use your takeaway cup. Um, unfortunately, when the lockdown started, first of all, uh, I like my coffee. Um, second, Starbucks wasn't open. I managed until we actually started going back to work again. Um, got my Starbucks on the on the way to work, and then Starbucks started opening a little bit later, which meant I couldn't get it, which also meant I was in a foul mood every morning when I got to work. So I looked round for a, um, a coffee machine that I've, I've had several in the past. One of them cost 900 quid, I think it was. Um, but I, looked, I, I wanted A1 for when I'm working at home that I could brew a pot of coffee and just keep topping up another one that makes espressos lattes that sort of stuff with a, a milk frother and um, I, I also looked at these Nespresso machines um, and uh, I think they're called uh, Dolce Gusto I'm sure that's the, the capsule size I, and then I came across this one and it's a Breville all-in-one now there's quite a, a big tank on the back I can just pull that out so that's the tank, so that's a good size to start off with. It's nice and neat. This, if you see that, that pot, you can brew a pot of coffee. This is uh, the filter. You, you put your coffee in there, put that on the top. That slides on there. The jug goes underneath like so, and then it just kind of percolates and uh, you, you've got up to 10 coffees actually I'll just switch it on there that switches on it recognizes what you're going to do whether it uh, whether it be that the ground coffee or this pod one and you can let me see if I switch this on you can change how many cups you're going to brew there so up to 10 cups um, this isn't the one I normally use. I like cafe lattes. So we'll take that off. I'll just show you this other one. It's, uh, it's the pod one. So if, if you put this on, let's see if I can just find it, put that on, working backwards here. You'll see there, that's set up for one of these. No need to mess about putting the coffee in, you just, stick one of these in it pierces it automatically you put it in here and you can set that small medium and large using this switch here um but i'll just show you the ones i like and also another uh, clever thing about it if you pull this little flat down at the back there you can have two espresso cups just could do with being a bit wider but you've got You've got the, the two espresso pourer here. Um, that's for a, a large or, or two espressos. And that's just if you're having a single yourself. I, I have two, two of the large ones in my cup, but I'll, I'll just show you a, a normal one. So we'll, we'll put them back over there. Get the coffee. And you might have gathered now, I'm not a, a trained barista. I'm just a barry. There we go. Stick that down like that. And then turn it on. And you see there, it's already set up for two, but I can change that. There you go, one, two. You've got a switch on the side here. This one is for brewing. 
and you turn it back that way for steam. So I've also got this jug and it's got a temperature gauge on the outside which is uh, a real bonus. Now you can either have, if you want a cup, the cup goes on there, but as I say I also use a travel mug and I use this every morning so you can fold that away and then put the travel mug under there and it saves you having to decanter your coffee. So here we go, we'll just do this. Put the cup there and then we click brew. It normally has to warm up or if you switch it on for it to warm up and um, it'll be ready by the time you've done, you've put your coffee in and so on. out of the way so that's that done now if we just put turn the frother on after a couple of seconds it starts pouring steam out and I've got to say that the the frother on this is better than the one on my last machine which costs four and a half times as much so there we go And as the milk warms up, you can see it, the temperature rising on here. When I'm, when I'm taking it to work, I, I take it right to the red. And in my um, travel cup there, or it keeps it warm till, well, for a couple of hours at least. It, it, like piping hot for a couple of hours. Right. So it's just warming up. And then... This is how I like it, not how, not necessarily how it should be done. Oops. There we go, turn the frother off, it's up to green and red there which is uh, asbestos mouth here can, can drink and then that's it. So uh, absolutely perfect coffee. Um, I, I'll put a link to it in the description. And I've been using this once, twice a day, every day for at least the last month. And when I go to Starbucks, uh, a four shot venti latte, I think it works out about 3.95. Um, they're not your 25p off for your cup and, and also uh, you get two shots free if you um, if you've got the Starbucks platinum card, which I have going every day. But you know the amount the amount I saved myself just in a month is near enough. Well, it's probably paid for the machine nearly. So uh, I I honestly I can highly recommend it. I wouldn't if I didn't like it. If it was useless, um, I couldn't recommend it. And I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't try to. But uh, it's a really, really good machine. Thanks for watching. God, that's good.